St. Tristan, to be specific. It's an island just uh, north of South America. That far away? Well, it's only a few hours by plane. Ooh, sounds like fun. Well, it will be once it's over, and I am a free woman. Uh, like your divorce? When are you leaving? I chartered a plane for later this afternoon, and Trevor and I are going to be able to get married just as soon as I get back. Cool, Mom. Are we invited? Yes, of course. Dumb question. Watch it, Brad. Okay, now listen, here is where I will be in case you need me. Oh, well, hey, you sure you don't want me to come along and keep you company? Well, oh, this is a solo trip. Thank you. I could carry your bags and call for room service. And... I'll manage. Now, listen, Trevor's going to be staying with both of you, so okay? Yeah. It's one big happy family. Uh, saccharine alert, saccharine hmm. alert. Go run upstairs, get ready for school. I don't want you to be late. Okay, Mom. Have a good trip. Thank you. I'm going to miss you guys. Yeah? Yeah, and you know what else? I've rather gotten used to your blonde hair. You look very nice. Oh, well, you know, I just haven't decided what color I'm going to go to next. Maybe a magenta with oh, navy blue mm, highlights. Don't you dare. <laughs> I really do like having it. I just wish there was something we could do for your mom as well. Well, um, let's not get carried away. My mother's just fine on her own. But I have already told you. I know what you told me, Mrs. Vaughn, but those are the rules. You must bring your daughter in with you for your appointment to get welfare next week. I, I, I have a birth certificate. Isn't that enough? As I've repeated over and over, in order to receive aid for a dependent child, your child is living with you. You know, I don't seem to be getting through to you, lady. I need that money. I have lost my job. Fine. Bring your daughter in, and we'll see what we can do. I have no... <gasps> Damn. Okay, I think I'm gonna go upstairs and finish... Well, uh, just see if you need a hand. <laughs> no, I think actually the worst is over. All right. Um, could you get that please, Taylor? No problem. Thank you. Hello? I gotta talk fast. I can't afford this call. What's wrong? You know what's wrong. You've gotta come home. No. I am your mother, Haley. I need you. Now, if you don't show up with me next week, these stink bureaucrats won't think that you're my dependent. I'm not. I live with Uncle Trevor now. No, no, you are visiting him. But you're still my daughter. Listen, there is nothing you can do to make me come home. Oh, oh you don't think so, huh? You better pack your bags, Missy, because I'm coming to get you. No, Mom. Adam will have Brooke back in a flash, I guarantee you. I'll give you ten to one odds. Brooke is too smart for that, so I'll take the odds. What, you're going to lose the bet, no, though? I'm not going to lose. Timmy, hurry up. You're going to be late for school. I can't find my homework. Oh, good grief. The trials and tribulations of motherhood. What do you got in the bag? <laughs> the family silver? Not funny. So what do you got? I have a lot of books to return to the library, okay? Okay. Gotta get an orange juice fix. Youth. Now I need a pencil. Sure. Pencils all over the place. Whoa! Hey, hey, get away from my stuff. Toothbrush, a bunch of clothes, shoes. So what's your problem? Where are you going? <sighs> Shut up and get away from my stuff. Mom said no way you can go to that island. She's I'm going, going to school, you pinhead. With all those clothes? It's a special assignment. I bet. Listen, you're not going to say one word about this. Do you understand? About what? What is he not supposed to say one word about? Haley didn't want me to tell what she's getting you and Mom for a wedding present. <laughs> I wanted it to be a surprise. <sighs> yeah, and I was just teasing her, kind of. Sorry, kid, I guess I jumped the gun. Yeah, well, watch that. So what are you getting us? Uh, matching lackets, perhaps? A gift certificate to the local tattoo parlor, huh? <laughs> You'll just have to sweat it out. Trevor, can you help me with the suitcase? I can't get it closed. 
Coming. She probably packed the kitchen sink. <sighs> Thanks. You're quick. Thanks. You're even uh, cool when you make the effort. But you really are going somewhere. I gotta ditch this town and fast. Why? Because it's time. You're not coming back? Who are you, Alex Trebek? Enough with the questions. If you need any help or anything. Listen, these are not little dude problems. If there's something wrong, tell Trevor. He can fix it. He can fix anything. I'll do my own fixing. Stay cool, okay? And take it easy. Yeah, you too. Oh. What do you got in here? Gold bricks or something? You might need them as tips. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell we go? School. Which is where you belong. With no pencil. Dear, never let it be said I never gave you anything. Thanks. Honey, I love you, and, and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye. Okay, bye, bye Be good. See you tonight, Tim. Bye. Haley didn't say goodbye. Bye. Honey, it's takeoff time. You better scoot. I don't want to. Well, if you don't go, the plane doesn't take off. I don't go to St. Tristan. I don't get a divorce. I could go with you. I oh. could hold your hand. I could hold other things. We're very good on an island, you know. That would be you and me, the tropical moonlight, wind in the palms, the sound of the ocean. And all the mysteries of life. Yes, but who would take care of Haley and Tim? <laughs> what are you talking? Two days here? They'll survive? Yes, well, I know they would, but Woodbine Valley. <laughs> You're taking a real hard line on this. You know, I could pull in and run. Oh, you could. Sure, I could uh, find a little nook like uh, this one right over here, and I could stow away. This is outrageous. He can't do that. Well, it looks like... A continuation of the uh, grand tradition. Cast away, stow away. <laughs> Ah, policeman deserting his job. Ah, uh, it was a nice dream while it lasted. It would have been fun. I gotta go. Oh. Oh. There's something I want to give you. Go ahead, open it. It's not gonna bite you. It's a genuine article. Oh, Trevor. It's not Cartier's or Tiffany's, but it's official. It's beautiful. Does that mean we're engaged? It sure does. Well, I guess I'm to get rid of the uh, highly prized, but uh, not official cigar band engagement ring. I'm sure it's uh, coming apart by now. Oh, no, it's not, as a matter of fact. I made sure of that. Oh, yeah? Yes, it's in a velvet box in my secret vault. I've taken very good care of it, I'll have you know. Yeah? Yeah, next to you and Timmy, it's about the most important thing in the world to me. In fact... What? I rather hate to replace it. Yeah, but this one is real. So is it. This one's gonna last forever. Just like us. You and me, together. I love you so much. It was rough, but it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Well, I hate to kiss and run, but uh, I gotta go. You have a safe trip, and good luck, and I love you, doll of dolls. <laughs> I love you, too. See that. Right. Why? Why are you doing this? Life's short. Uh, <laughs> live it if you got it. I don't know. I thought it'd be a kick. Well, the kick comes after we turn the plane around, get back to Pine Valley and see your uncle. Uh, no, you don't want to do that. Why not? Well, because you and Uncle Trevor don't want to stay apart any longer than you have to be. 
not the way you two love each other and the way you two make magic for each other. You were listening? Well, it wasn't... It was pretty unavoidable. Yeah, it was a very private moment. Well, well hey, nice ring. Oh, I don't believe this. Oh, chill. Nat, I can be great company. Keep you from getting lonely. Give you fashion advice. This isn't a joke, Haley. You don't belong trip and you're not staying. I didn't bring a parachute. I'm asking the pilot to turn the plane around. Oh, come on. We're almost halfway there. Turning back now would just be wasting so much jet fuel. Uh, what do you want to do, pollute the environment? All right, fine, Haley. I've had it with your remarks. Jim, I'm sorry. There's been a change of... Uh, no! Hold on. No. You... We... You... We can't turn what back. What is wrong with you? We can't go back. Why not? I can't go back. Haley, all this over a little plane trip, what is wrong? Please, please don't turn back. Haley, what is going on here? Now level with me. All right. I'll tell you, but you have to swear not to rat on me to Uncle Trevor. Please let me stay with you. I'll do anything you want. I mean, if something's got you this upset, you need help. Now what is it? You're obviously terrified of going back to Pine Valley. Let's just say it's not my dream town right now. Boyfriend problems? Is it Brian? I wish. Then what is it? I can tell the pilot to turn this plane around okay. right Okay, okay, it's my mom. Arlene? She called. She wants me to come home. She won't take no for an answer. Why? Because she can't get her lousy welfare check beefed up unless she can prove she has to support a minor. Oh. She skitzed over the whole thing. Like, heaven forbid she should have to get another job and actually support herself. Matt, she wants me to drop out of school and work full-time at Burger Chief. Oh, honey, I'm, I'm, I'm just so sorry. It's not your fault. It's just... Some of us get lucky. And some of us wind up with garbage for mothers. I don't think you want to say that about your mother. You don't really feel that way. You want to bet? She threatened me. She threatened she'd come to Pine Valley and drag me back by my hair. That's some mother. Honey, I'm sure she's under a tremendous strain. It's herself to blame. I mean, there's no way I'm going back to Chicago. No way. You might as well open that door and throw me out now. Because it's a better life I'd have than going home. After my dad died, everything fell apart. I just, I can't deal with her anymore. I hate her. She hates me. Listen, Haley. If your mom comes to Pine Valley, I'm sure Trevor can handle her. You don't... Mom. It's okay. Listen. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll let you stay with me in the islands. Only, only, uh, if when we get to the airport, we call Trevor, we tell him where you are and what the situation is. And if he thinks it's okay, then you can stay and... What, hang out with me in the interest of how okay, I get my divorce? Okay, okay, yes, thank you.